add three cc's. Well, let's just fire this up. Please don't blow up in the next 30 seconds. Just a minute. I'm out of blackberry spud. Come back later. I need it now. Sorry. I don't have any now. What the hell was that? Where is it? Where's the blackberry? I'm making it. You're lying. It's a very delicate reaction. You're saving it all for the bobbies. <laughs> You can't. This better work on Spud. Oh no. It's not possible. We sent them all away. They never came back. It's a, it's a rat. I'm hallucinating and it's a rat. And it's gonna bite me. You can't be a baby. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. We better get spot out of here. You'd think a junkie would weigh a bit less, wouldn't you? Of course, there's the blower. Blackberry Joy. Spud couldn't have shown up at a worse time. I hope Gwen's all right. Fucking a bucket. you anymore. Oh, you've got a poopy nappy, don't you? Let's go get you a nice clean one. I'll need to filter some water. Oh 
do you have? I've lost my dollar. <laughs> Gwen's running out of nappies. I better make some more. Why did I put that cloth and tape? I shouldn't have left it alone. I better turn down the heat. Dry. Wipe up the poop so the baby doesn't cry. <laughs> Constable, whatever brings you here? Someone seems to have bashed your front door in, Mom. Terrible, isn't it? I forgot my key and I had to sort of bash my way in. I've had reports, Mom. All sorts of people come into your door. Amazing, isn't it? So many people get lost these days and they keep asking me for directions. You're not selling illicit substances, are you? You mean aside from Blackberry Joy to the constabulary? Oh. Are you Sally Boyle? Mm-hmm. Oh, how stupid of me. I'm so sorry to have been a bother. I, I know a terribly good joiner. I'll send him round, fix that door up for you. No need, Constable. But you're very sweet. I'll just, uh, I'll be on my way, Mom. Cheery, bye. I hope Gwen's all right. Golden slumbers fill your eyes. Smiles awake when you rise. Pretty, isn't it? They made us memorize it at school. At the time, Mummy was far more interested in love poems. Poets were. Oh, you can't be serious. Miss Boyle, just wondering if you were uh, planning to, to, to drop by the, um, the, the, the old neighbourhood anytime soon. We all miss you. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm just in the middle of, um, cooking. No. I'll get on the blower and let everyone know. As soon as it's ready. Promise. Oh, she's probably hungry by now. I should have fed her before I started the reaction. She's crying like that. There, there, baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Mummy promises. Thing is, Mummy doesn't know how she's gonna feed you. Did you know that? And if she doesn't figure it out, baby is gonna starve to death. Is Mummy the worst Mummy ever? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Lionel. Wait. Lionel might have tinned milk. He has a bit of everything. Listen, Mummy. Mummy's gonna go and see Lionel. Try not to cry too much till Mummy comes back. 
Okay, please. Mommy will be back with supper as soon as she possibly can. Please have ten milk, Lionel. Please. How can I help you? Sally Boyle! I'm afraid I haven't got anything new or fashionable for a mock girl like yourself. Everything I've got is as old as me. <laughs> oh, Lionel. You've never felt old to me. I need some tin milk for something I'm brewing. Oh, well, uh... The, 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 the treat from over the bridge, well... All we seem to have at the moment is a few tins of leftovers from the war, and... They're practically collector's items. Pricey. Oh, I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. Is there anything we could trade? Not unless you're willing to go over to the Garden District. <laughs> Why not? A girl like you. Some of the wastrels out there. there there's rumours of cannibals, devil worshippers, cue jumpers. It's sweet that you were looking out for me. Well, some time ago, Uncle Jack made a record album. Uncle Jack Sings. And I got a collector who's dying to have it. Now, I know there's a bunch of Uncle Jack fans who have a sort of compound on Eel Pie. If anyone's got the album, it's them. Bring me that, and I'll give you all the tin milk I have. All right. I'll see what I can find. What's your fancy? We're expecting a new shipment any day now, so do check back in a day or two.
Uncle Jack records. Jesus Christ. Gwen's leg is hanging on Uncle Jack records. Not that Lionel knows that, thank God. I wish I weren't such rubbish at tinkering. At school, the boys all learned how to use these bloody tools. Why wouldn't they let us? So, if you like to collect rainwater for tempering your constitutional, please remember to adjust your dose accordingly. And the weather is delightfully sunny, inside and out. They really use their heads. Of course, it's nothing less than instinct. You see them, do buy them a pint for me. I'm sorry to say, tomorrow's cricket match has been postponed due to uncertain weather. That's very well played cricket in a tight room. So much for that sunshine pill. Now I'll look just like my regular grumpy old self. Okay. The city 
tight explanation of your purpose at the Department of Public Order. One of these days, Gwen, I'm going to teach you all about chemical interactions. They're so much more reliable than boys. I used to run away from my secret tree to cry. And Arthur would come and sit with me. Happiest time of my life, I suppose, in retrospect. Hello. Are you a friend of Uncle Jack? Of course. Who isn't? You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the Garden District, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. We can't take joy, but that doesn't mean we can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does, right? It's just a question of concentration. Oh, yes. In fact, Uncle Jack has heard of you. He's heard of us? You can't be serious. Is he going to talk to us on the TV? Oh, but we never get the new programs out here. What did he say? How do you know? Why don't you ask him? He's coming to visit. He wants to do a live broadcast from here. He's coming here? But the place is a mess. We have to clean up. Uh, Dad's coming. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle Jack's coming. That's the spirit. Let's show Uncle Jack just how much we love him. Uncle Jack's coming.
we dressed all fancy. Mind the gap, please. <sighs> What's the rush? Please step away immediately. I'll chew you up and right. Huh? We've got a down out here, haven't we? You're gonna get what's coming to you. You're only making it harder. Lovely day for it. Sally Boyle! I hope you find me Uncle Jack record. Me boy has been pestering me. I have indeed. You're Brillo! Milk you shall have! Lionel, you're sort of handy, aren't you? Well, I do like to tinker. You'd be amazed at the state of some of these things when you come into the shop. Can't sell them if I can't fix them. I have some designs for some apparatuses. Some sort of... Uh, water feeder for, for birds? Oh, heavens no. I can't stand the crows. It's for my flowers. Mustn't over water, but I keep forgetting to water it all. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, well, let me see what I got in the back there. I, I, I bet I can find all the pieces sooner or later. <laughs> they, they, they never show up right away, but they always show up sooner or later. Uh, check back in a bit. Gwen's got something. Here we go, darling. Baby milk. You won't believe what Mummy had to do to get this for you. Well, I'll never tell you, frankly. Who's at the bloody door now?
Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The lad is uh, wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for him. Oh, I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The lad is getting a mite twitchy, to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station so you can explain yourself to them precisely. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with Blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you learned to learn it. That ain't quite true, though, Mom, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We don't imagine that Lionel Kashia is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the garden district doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, um... Uh, Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. I was visiting the General. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the General now, can we, lads? Ah, uh, uh, of course he would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. We must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance, willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. And that won't be cheery for either of us. I guess I can't blame them for being antsy. It's not fun going off Blackberry. And if they go back on regular joy, they'll get the crumps, and they won't even remember why. Thank God I'm almost done with this new batch. You will take your joy immediately. And now it's time for party. Young Bernie, yes, me. You will eat our Jolly Island's ancient custom. When you think about it, Guinevere is really a sort of an awful name. I mean, I wish she'd have her. Jesus, it smells like burning chemicals. Oh shit! Where's the fire extinguisher? Christ Almighty! Jesus, no!
Okay. First things first. How bad is the damage to the lab? The triode and the crystallizer's broken. Oh. Why do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Oh, God. My old chemistry box. It must be still in my old house. I was really hoping I'd never have to go back there.